it's so quiet but um hey guys it's chris i'm by myself today um i'm doing like a show vlog kind of concert vlog ish it's not a concert um it's dan howell daniel howell howell we are all doomed to her um i've been a dan and phil fan since i was in since I was nine and I'm now 19, so long time. Um, Dan was always my favorite, even though I love them both. But yeah, I'm by myself. It's kind of great, kind of fun. I'll show you the stage. It was very like last minute seat, so like it's still good, but it's not the best, obviously. But um, well, it's good. This venue is beautiful. I'm wearing it's just like a black shirt um but yeah i don't know if we're allowed to film i don't think so last two where they weren't allowed to film so we'll see i'm sorry this is up close maybe i'll caption it if you can't hear me but yeah so if we can't film i'll let you guys know what happens but yeah see you guys hello this is current me um just popping in to say that this video is a little bit everywhere and so um I just did my whole introduction and everything, and now it's going to cut to before we got into the theater. So I'm going to show you guys that, walking in, and then I'll show you some pictures of the theater, and then I'll include some snippets of the show, just like little videos, just because like I don't want to spoil anything like I, um, I will be saying later on. And then, yeah, I'll be popping in if I need to from here on, so yeah. Anything vaguely apocalyptic, it has been a complete disaster. Hypothetical example. Oh, there's an airborne pathogen. You need to briefly stop socializing. Better buy 500 fucking toilet paper rolls. Ox Pepper is truly the Ellen DeGeneres of children's television. <laughs> Line. <laughs> I'm back in my room. I'm home. Um, I'm just gonna do a little explanation because this vlog might be a little bit jumpy. <clears throat> so you weren't allowed to film or anything. I did take some sneaky pics. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything though because he said not to do that, and obviously I'm not gonna be a bad person and spoil everything for you guys. So you guys, whoever's watching this, if you guys have, if you are going or if you have gone or if you plan on going, whatever. Um, I'm wearing some merch. I bought some merch. Um, this shirt was only $40. Um, no tax or anything, uh, which was pretty good because my 17 merch was $80, um, which I still didn't care. I paid for it, but cheaper side of merch, which was nice. Um, my throat hurts a little bit. I'm really tired, so I'm rambling. But um, the show was really fun. He came out with a musical number, which was really fun. Um, I saw them back in, I don't remember, for The Amazing Tour is Not On Fire. I saw them then. Uh, they were great, they were fun. I love them. I miss Phil. Phil, please come to Canada again. 
Um, but yeah, it was a really good show. I really liked it. It was really funny, really like sentimental and like, um, like informative, motivational. I would also say like, oddly, I didn't expect it to be um, very motivational. He made like very good points at the end about like living in the moment instead of like expecting things to get better, you know. Um, I want to explain mainly what happened after, so I'm probably going to include- I might include clips as I'm talking about it, or maybe I included them before, we'll see. But, um, got a line for merch, I ran down to merch because I didn't want to wait in a long line. So if I wasn't like the first couple people, I probably wouldn't have gotten merch. Um, I was probably like 30th in line, mm, give or take. Um, yeah, I was relatively close to the front, um, probably like three loops away from it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, did that. I went to the show by myself, um, but my mom and my sister were gonna pick me up. Lex, she was gonna pick me up. <laughs> and so I um, got my merch, went smoothly. They let us out through the basement door because the merch was in the basement. Walked up, then I was looking at my phone waiting for my mom to text me where her car was. She said that she was across the street and I was looking and I couldn't find her alone. So then uh, she texted again and was like, actually no, we moved down to like the side where like near the side because it's closer and I don't have to like cross the road or anything. So I walked down to the side and as I'm walking, I see a giant 6'3 man, 6'4, I don't know how tall he is, just standing there with like a group of like six girls, people, sorry, I shouldn't say girls, six like people. Um, yeah, and so I like I ran, I like jogged forward and was like, Dude. and he was taking pictures. He took pictures with like two people and then was like, oh, thank you guys, I kind of have to go. Let me just take like a group photo. And so I'll insert it here. Um, so yeah, I have a picture with Dan Hell. Ah! Screaming, crying, shitting myself. Um, yeah, it was a lot. Um, I'm at that Dan and Phil phase now though, where like, it, I don't get like starstruck, you know, like they're just people to me, which I get. Yes, they are just people. But like when I saw some quote, it was like, oh my God, crying, you know, but with Dan, it's just like, I just, you know, it feels like a long time friend that I'm seeing again, which is weird, a weird, like parasocial relationship. I get it. But um, yeah, so I have a picture with Dan. He was very nice. Uh, and then he left in a little car. It was not fancy. It was a silver little car. So yeah. I hope this is like a fun little thing to watch. I know I couldn't um, take any videos or anything. I'll insert some of the pictures that I took, but they are not that great. I didn't, my seats were pretty close. Like they weren't that far, but because like of like the effects and stuff that he had, it was um, very blurry because he had a lot of light. So when I tried to zoom in, it was very blurry. Plus it was like sneaking photos, um, which he did say like, I see you guys taking videos, not to me, to like the other side. And he was fine with it. He just like clarified, do not like spread any spoilers. So I'm not gonna do that. That's why I didn't really talk about the show that much. It was great. If you're going, you're gonna love it. Um, yeah. Merch ranged between 15 to $80. Um, a hoodie was $80, a bracelet was 15. Um, the tote bag was 18, I think. My shirt was 40. It has all like the tour dates and crap on the back. So yeah, this is Canadian dollars as well. He made a lot of Tim Hortons jokes. He made a lot of Trudeau jokes. Um, very funny, all in good taste, but yeah. It was fun. I keep playing with my hair because I'm staring at myself other than you guys. My bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But yeah, all my friends are like texting me too because they saw the video I took with him and I have a lot of fan, like, I have a lot of friends who are fa a fan of him as well. So yeah, I didn't expect to take a picture of him, honestly. I didn't get VIP for that reason because I was just like, whatever. Like, I just want to see him. Well, like, I want to see his show. I don't like, care too much about meeting him. It just so happened that my mom parked her car right where he walked out and they didn't even like, I didn't even see her car. I just ran because I saw him and the car was right there. And my mom and my sister also came out. My mom's in the picture too, but she wanted me to crop her out. So I will, she will be cropped out. But my sister's in the picture. You guys will spot Lex. I spy Lex. But yeah. And that's it. If you guys like it, please make sure to give this video a big 
thumbs up. You can like, comment. I keep playing with my hair and I'm gonna get comments about, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? Oh God, okay. So you guys can like this video if you found this entertaining at all. If it was helpful, I can answer any comments you guys have about the tour as well, like when they let us in and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell because we post videos randomly, at least once a week, but more. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!